Uh, elsewhere for you this morning, just coming up to 20 past seven, and the communications regulator Ofcom has fined BT Openreach a record £42 million pounds after it reduced compensation payments for delays in connecting high-speed business lines. It was found that the telecoms giant had committed a serious breach. Goucher Rasmussen is Ofcom's investigations director and he joins us now from our Westminster studio. Morning to you. Thanks very much for joining us. Um, just Good tell morning. us, would you explain to us, just if you would, what had been going on and why this level of fine? So these high-speed lines are the digital backbone of this particular country and uh, BT rolls them out and have 30 days to do so when companies order uh, these lease lines to be rolled out. Sometimes they can't hit that deadline, and that can be for very valid reasons, but they have to provide notice and they have to have a, the right reason for doing so. If it's a matter of B uh, BT that BT can control, then they have to pay compensation for any such delay. And what was the problem, that they hadn't been paying the compensation, or what exactly was the, what you found? That's right. We found that they had used these particular mechanism for delaying uh, the rollout and not paying compensation in an inappropriate manner. And they had done so, now we, we learned, that, uh, to a tune of £300 million uh, pounds in compensation that they need to pay to telecoms providers who are now out of pocket. OK, so you find them £42 million. Pounds. How, did you, um, in what, how come you set that level? So this is a record fine for Ofcom. I mean, we have investigated these sorts of breaches before, but this is the highest fine we've, we've imposed. Uh, we feel that it um, very much reflects the seriousness of the, of the breach in question and the importance of this particular sector of the, uh, of the UK economy. Um, of course, the fine needs to be seen in context um, in, the, the, in the round with the, enormous, uh, with the significant compensation package. OK. Um, we know from Ga Gavin Patterson from BT, his group chief executive, he said the investigation into historical deemed consent practices at Openreach revealed we fell short of the high standards we expect in serving our communications provider customers. We take this issue very seriously. And he goes on to say they've put in place measures, controls uh, and people to prevent it happening again. Are you, what do you think? Are you, are you happy that this is the end of it now? Well, we see this as a, um, uh, an investigation into historic conduct. We have seen real and tangible change um, at BT, and of course, there's been the, um, uh, BT has met our requirements in full in terms of in, uh, improving the independence of open reach, um, uh, and and we welcome those. Yes, because we know that they're going to now they're going to now separate. Um, you said you mentioned a little bit earlier that they will now have to pay as well as this fine. They'll also have to pay other money to the to people who they're, they've been providing the service to. That's right. So um, BT, as part of the um, settling these allegations with Ofcom, have also agreed um, a compensation package, and uh, we understand that that amounts to, um, that is estimated to amount to about three hundred million pounds. Wow! Um, and just very briefly, that money, the forty-two million pounds, can you tell me where it goes to? That goes to the Treasury. It goes to the Treasury. Thank you very much, Garrett Rasmussen, Ofcom's morning. investigations director. Thank you. Now the story that has.